Now this is a this is an unusual spot to be filming, and actually I wasn't. Uh, I guess I wasn't planning to do it out here. I kind of wanted to be somewhere clear, a little sunnier, not as hectic. But I guess I kind of felt like this would be a more intimate spot to uh, discuss. And what I really don't tell a lot of people or talk with a lot of people about is when my dad passed away uh, last year. Hey, Pop. Hey, So the topic today will be Pokemon Go and my dad's passing and how how the game really helped me deal with his passing. In this clip over here, my dad's uh, telling me how to film the horse. He's basically telling me to film him from the head and not from the back, which is a very important tip actually. So these uh, these videos that I'm looking through right now is when uh, my family and I went to Canada and Canada is like five six hours away from here so we took a uh, bus tour за исключением одного дня, когда будет подъем в пол седьмого. Потому что у нас очень рано в Атаве, в парламент у нас заказано туда. Очень рано. В 8.50 мы должны быть в парламенте. And this is, uh, this is my mom, my sis and my dad, who I'm sitting next to, uh, going on this trip. Что, кого ты фотографируешь здесь? Сейчас я сниму это. So this is when we were already uh, visiting the French Quarter and uh, the camera that my dad has on the left side, that was, the f that was our first camera purchase. It was like, I remember if you know back in the day. Actually, let me show them to you. So here, actually, this is the same bag that he has right here. That we still have and it's basically so this that whole trip we filmed on this thing it was this JVC thing it's really actually in mint condition um, the batteries don't work if I can find some batteries it might work but yeah, so this was the camera, and he bought this for us when, uh, oh, here's its battery. Look how huge this thing is. Okay. 
So here we go. Let's see if you see that. There we go. So you got a little glare. But that's him. So he was 50 and he passed away at the beginning of September. So actually right now, it, this is like his one year anniversary. When he passed away, I actually, I didn't do a lot. I kind of stayed at home for a few weeks. Um, I think I turned on Pokemon Go once in a while and I would just check what's going on. Uh, then, a, you know, like a month passed and then at some point, a Squirtle nest developed at Corona Park. And of course, this was before Gen 2. So starter Pokemon were like, for me, they were like the only thing I wanted to catch. But I found out there was a Squirtle nest in Corona Park. So I wanted to go, but at the same time, I was grieving over my dad. So I didn't really know what I should be doing. Should I stay at home? Should I go? So for a second, I thought to myself and I was like, what would he want me to do? What's up guys? So I'm back after a big sabbatical. As you guys know, my dad passed away and I don't want to stop making videos and I don't think my dad would want me to stop making videos. So right now we are headed out to Corona Park. As much as I, like, I felt like this is the right thing to do, to grieve and not do stuff, I kind of got the... I don't know, something happened. I found the motivation and the encouragement to get up and to go to Corona Park. Alright guys, we're still in transit. This is 42nd Street. And I'm in South Brooklyn, okay? South Brooklyn, all the way to Manhattan. From Manhattan to Corona Park. And get on the 7 train. This is Mets Point. Uh, going to the Bronx. If you know where the Mets Stadium is, that's where it's at. Let's go, let's go. That's where Corona Field Park is. is oh, great. It's drizzling. So I get out there and it's like it was drizzling. This is only ironic and appropriate that I would be hunting squirrels in the rain. And there was nobody there. Alright, so we're at the Tsunami Memorial. <laughs> Look at that, there's two! What the heck? Dude, these are such high squirrels. These are really winning Pokemon. Come on. Two. Yes. Now I'm getting to the whole point. Like, uh, bear with me. I'm getting to the whole point of where this, this concept, like this new birth in me happened about me going out there. So I'm starting to make my way through the park. Now the park is about 10 to 20 streets long. Uh, it is about two football fields. So there's North Park and then the South. And I played in the North part of Corona Park. So I get up there, I actually get to the, uh, to the world, to the globe. There's a globe there, I get to the globe. We're gonna go back up to the, uh, to the observation deck area. Not a lot of people around there and you're getting a little bit of the mist too from the wind. Windy. So I start catching squirrels. I start seeing squirrels on the sightings. I start seeing them on the map. So I start chasing them around. And I knew I was going to get my Blastoise then. Because uh, there was just, there was a lot. I'm at about 80 candy or something. So I start walking around. Then I go into the garden. and I start making my circles. I'm going back and forth. Everything's going good. Like it's, it's just, it's legit. I had snacks with me. I had food. I had drink. Uh, like I wasn't thirsty. Plenty of areas to go to the bathroom, you're like in the forest. So I'm walking around and then, you know, it gets a little downtime. Then I start seeing cluster spawns and then 
At some point, I'm seeing these spawns way behind these spaceship saucers. You see, this is a little weird. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a ring, and it's like a radio tower. Okay. Now, if you remember Men in Black, uh, Men in Black had a scene with a cockroach. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones, Will Smith, Men in Black 1. There was a scene at Corona Field Park. right there that these two three squirrels spawned so I get out there I catch one then I see there's another one still somewhere but like a bear keep in mind it's dark like there's nobody there there's like these homing sounds like it's quiet it's eerie it's creepy there's these saucers over there I feel like I'm about to get abducted by aliens just walking out here Guys, look at this. There's aliens behind here for sure. And this is the observation deck from Men in Black 3, Men in Black 2, Men in Black 1. Men in Black 3, they had a uh, scene at the Met Stadium. Uh, Men in Black 1, that's where the roach was trying to escape. He climbed up here. And then Tommy Lee Jones climbed up. No, he ate Tommy Lee Jones. And then he climbed up here. And then Will Smith's character was fighting and he's like, hey, bug, get over here. And that's where it was. So I woke up to this area where the squirrel should be. And you know when you're out doing jogs and you're lifting weights and you're pushing, you're pushing for that exam, you're cramming the last night and you, you just become so elated. You just, you, you, it's like you just have an out of body experience. You're like, Yo, my mind is like flowing in which direction? I feel like, I feel like I'm flying. I'm walking out there, nobody there, it's dark, it's raining, I'm approaching the squirrel, I see him and I catch the squirrel. And at that moment, it clicks in my head. It's like, because of this game, I was able to understand Alex, if you don't do anything about what's going on with your dad's passing right now, it's gonna be tough on you. It's gonna be tough on you. And because of this game, I actually was able to reach that plateau to realize that if there's any way I'm gonna get over this and I'm gonna move on with my life, is I'm gonna have to start building a new thing in me. Jonathan, we got a Hi. message for you. <laughs> Hey, what were you gonna say? Give me back my power bank. Give it. That's right. Bring back the power bank, you scrub. <laughs> say it ain't, it ain't so. I will, I will not go. go. Turn your lights off. <laughs> Carry me home. Sha na 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 So I ended up going for ramen. What's up, guys? You got the shio ramen, and then there's Colin. Oh, we have the kafu. Last event, I was the official photographer. This was the first raid badge that I got. There's our Dragonite. These badges were made by Jude, trainer Douglas, and. Uh, I think Glenn McGuire, another uh, Instinct fellow, I think, I don't know, they had some kind of co-sponsorship or whatever. And then, of course, I got the Instinct badge, but I do have these two over here. Manhattan Streets, it's, it's not like a very exclusive event. You know, anybody can come. Uh, it's, it's mainly, if you play Pokemon, lure Brian Park, go around in circles, catch Pokemon, get your shiny Sableye. So right now I, uh, I came back to Bryan Park and I'm noticing that not everything's lured up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lure up the whole park 
And in essence, this is Manhattan streets for you. Now we got a sable eye, he's not a shiny. Looks like a battle of the best of them, so he has good IVs, we'll check him later. Well, look at this, look at everything. I went around, lured everything up. Some of these are not my lures. I think this one just expired, that that wasn't mine. But we're gonna be here for another 30 minutes. We're gonna have some fun. And uh, hopefully we'll get a shiny. We're and you get out there and you just, you have fun. You know, you have fun and you enjoy yourself. So I will not be going to Philadelphia. On Saturday, there's an event called Philly Streets, but because there's Manhattan Streets, I will be playing out there. It's gonna start at 8 o'clock on Friday in Bryan Park, and it's gonna go on for the next day, 8 o'clock Saturday in Bryan Park. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I appreciate you watching, and uh, take care.